We are talking about the trigonometric relationships, the relationships between the sides in a right triangle. We talked about four of the relationships. There are actually six since we have three sides. There are six relationships. But at the beginning, we just care about four of them. And that would be the short side over the long side, the medium side over the long side, short over medium, medium over short. Those relationships actually have names, and we'll get to which ones are which, but the names are sine, cosine, and tangent. Some of you will recognize and notice that those names are actually on your calculator, as well as some other things that kind of look like them, like the ATAN and the uh, you know, tan H, cos H, sin H, A sin H. So those are ones that you're going to get to later on. We want to just start with the basic three. Now, if I have a triangle that's just a dilation of another one, it's an enlargement, it's a reduction, it's a similar triangle. And similar triangles should actually have similar ratios. So, for example, short over long in the green one is 3, 5. Short over long in the red one is 6, 10, which is the same thing if you reduce it. So if I just have a, just a bigger triangle, similar, the ratios are the same. So if we have a bigger triangle, the green one's bigger than the red one, um, and they're both 30 degree angles there, and that's the other thing, that's how we know something similar. One is that the sides are ratios of each other, same ratio, same proportion, same enlargement. The other is that if we know all the angles are the same, it's a similar triangle. So that's what we're kind of paying attention to. It's just a matter of the, you know, the angles being the same. So the ratio x over y would equal the ratio a over b. Those ratios will be the same if we have similar triangles. So it doesn't matter how big that 30 degree angle triangle is. The ratios we talk about will be the same. Now those ratios depend on the angle. And so we have to pick which angle we're going to stand at to actually define the ratios. And now we're going to learn to reference them in some different words. Um, C is always the hypotenuse. Well, the long side is always the hypotenuse. And you know that. You've had that for many years. It's a side across from the 90. All right. Now, I'm standing here at corner A. The side right next to me, yes, the hypotenuse is right next to me, but that's always called the hypotenuse. The side right next to me is called the adjacent side. Adjacent means next to. So in this case, B is the adjacent side. The side across from me, the side across the triangle from me is called the opposite side. Those are words you want to get used to because the definitions of the relationships are based on opposite, adjacent, and hypotenuse. What's opposite and what's adjacent depends on which corner you're standing at. You will never stand at the 90. You will always stand at one of the acutes. So let's get the definition of sine. We're standing at corner A again. Sine is defined as the relationship between the opposite side and the hypotenuse. So the opposite side from where I'm standing is A, and the hypotenuse is C. So that would be the relationship for sine for where I'm standing now, A over C. Cosine is defined as the relationship between the adjacent side and the hypotenuse. The adjacent side and the hypotenuse. So where I'm standing right now, the adjacent is B, the hypotenuse is C. Tangent is defined as the relationship between the opposite side And the adjacent side. Tangent is about the relationship of the legs. 
So opposite from where I'm standing is A, adjacent is B. Those are the definitions. We're now going to practice some of them. All right, so we have ourselves a right triangle here. We've got sides X, Y, and Z. Now, there's a funky little symbol written in the bottom left corner, and that's the symbol theta. We reference angles by Greek letters. So alpha, beta, gamma, delta, theta is traditional uh, for just one of them. So, we want to know sine. And we have to say sine of theta because we have to tell people where we're standing. So the sine of theta, where we're standing, sine again is opposite over hypotenuse. Opposite from me is y, and hypotenuse is x. Cosine of theta, cosine from where I'm standing, is adjacent, which is z, over x. And tangent is opposite over adjacent, and opposite is again y, and adjacent is z. So you just got to get used to getting those, those three relationships uh, written out. Alrighty, we've got uh, another right triangle, and theta is now at a different place. It's not in the bottom left anymore. It's now in the top right. So now, sine of theta, sine again is opposite. So opposite from where I'm standing is z, and over hypotenuse is x. Cosine, adjacent over hypotenuse, adjacent to where I'm standing. We're standing up here at theta. So adjacent is y, and hypotenuse is x. And tangent is, again, opposite over adjacent. Standing up here, opposite's across. So that's z over adjacent, and adjacent is y. All right, so we've got another right triangle here where I threw one in with all numbers. Now, the whole idea behind news and trig is that we won't have all the numbers. We'll only have two of them. But we're just going to use all the numbers so we know uh, what we're writing here. So again, we have, first we want to find the sine, and we've got to say for, where we're standing. So we're standing at the 40. So sine of 40 is opposite, which is 4.13, over hypotenuse, 6.42. Cosine is adjacent, 4.92 over 6.42. And tangent is opposite, 4.13 over 4.92. Opposite over adjacent. So, that's with numbers. This is more what we're going to see. We're going to have two numbers and need to find the other stuff. So, sine of 50. Sine, again, is opposite over hypotenuse. 50 is where we're standing. So, sine of 50 is going to be opposite, which is x over hypotenuse. 8.38. Awesome. I just don't know x. I know the other two numbers, so I'll be able to find x. Um, cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. We're standing up here at the 50. So the adjacent is y, and the hypotenuse is 8.38. Awesome, we'll be able to find y because it's the only thing I don't know. Cosine 50 is just a number. It's a you know, decimal, and 8.3 is an, okay. Now tangent 50, tangent is opposite over hypotenuse. Opposite's x, or not opposite over hypotenuse, opposite over adjacent. x over y. That's going to be tough because there's two things I don't know, and that wouldn't be a really good problem for us to ask because we can only ask for one thing. So that's how you do sine, cosine, tangent. Some people like having a mnemonic to remember things. So the mnemonic is SOKATOA. Sine is opposite over hypotenuse. Cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse, and tangent is opposite over adjacent. Now here is exactly what they're going to look like. I have a right triangle, I know it's a 35 degree angle, I know the hypotenuse is 2.7, I want to find x. Our choice is what will we use to find x? Will we use sine, will we use cosine, or will we use tangent? We're only going to use one of them. When you're standing at the 35, you know the hypotenuse. Well, only two of those use the hypotenuse. So, get rid of tan. doesn't use the hypotenuse. 
Again, you're staying at 35, you want to know x. Where is x? Which side is x? x is opposite. Therefore, you want to use sine. Sine, 35 degrees, equals x over 2.7. That's how you set it up. Next video will tell you how to solve it.